Okay, I'm Chad Granham. I'm the current maintainer of Test More, Test Simple, Test Two, all those things. Yesterday, you saw a presentation uh, from Damien Conway where he introduced a new test class, a uh, new test package, and uh, left with the remark, "Now this is all you need." Sorry, Chad. Now, my first reaction to this was to be a little giddy. I got mentioned by Damien Conway in one of his keynotes. Pretty sweet. <laughs> But shortly after that meeting was over, uh, several people came to me and said, so what is your answer to that? So how are you going to uh, get back? See, I hadn't realized there was a challenge in this, but I decided to take it on. So last night, in about uh, three hours, between midnight and three, <laughs> I implemented most of the major features he had in his test suite, but for existing tests. Just work when you import it. So for instance, we've got this test, this is test two, and then we load source diag. And then we put a failing test. So let's see what happens when we run this. Look at that. Line four, there's the code that failed. You get it. Now, moving on, this will work with multi-line tests as well. There's the source code in the output for the test failure. Moving on, really complicated one. Those who are familiar with the guts of Perl will know that the line number this evaluates to by caller is going to be line 11. If I just printed line 11, hash test, it would be pretty useless. Nope, it works. Gets you the whole nested structure. <coughs> Moving on. Oops. Now, I wanted to see some of the things that Conway's module did and how it handled them. Uh, actually, I jumped ahead. This shows that it works with test more as well. Any existing test, you can just import this plugin. I'm also adding two new parameters here, show args and inject name, the two other things that Conway's module did. And so let's look at the output of that. We've got, oh, and the test wasn't named. So it put the source code as the name of the test, including the multi-lines where the extra lines are common. That's something test, uh, test two does for you anyway. Then it lists which arguments were actually in those variables when it was called. Um, so there you have it, that just works. Moving on, I wanted to see how Conway's module handled when you have a really crazy long source. Eh. <laughs> so, let's move on. Uh, once again, Conway's module, I decided to give it something even more crazy, I put comments in there. Let's see, ooh, syntax error, missing curly brace at line 19. I don't have a line 19, Conway. <laughs> but here's, here's the same test with my code. Boom, there we go. <laughs> this, this is very low magic. It introduces no keywords. It doesn't use any kind of uh, source filtering or uh, a whole lot of magic. This uses the data that uh, test2 actually already has available to it, the file name and line number, and if there is a failure, it will load PPI, parse the file only once to avoid slowdowns, <laughs> um, and then it will output the source for all the failure lines. And... What? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, this works, it's low magic, you won't have a performance hit unless there is a test failure, because it just doesn't even load any of the stuff it needs to do this unless there's a test failure. So if your test suite passes, you don't get a hit. That's it. Go, no, go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you've ever wondered how to get features into the core, 